Good morning everybody and welcome to the new vlog. Today's one is just gonna be the kind of classic, a good old, a bit of everything. I actually have a week full of things to do so I'm starting it now because I thought like bringing you guys with me could be kind of exciting. It will be a little bit different because we have a lot of things to do. In fact, I have so many things that I need to buy for the house. I also want to go shopping. Yeah, I'll be kind of around Paris a little bit. Now, very important thing. Recently, I showed you this dress that I'm wearing. I don't know if you can now see it very well, but I really like it. I think it's very autumnal. Uh, burgundy purple colors, you know, like classic. I just belted it in and I will show you the total look. I received so many comments asking me to show more how I style it, how I plan on styling it, because it's a midi dress. So I suppose a lot of you also like to wear midi dresses for, I don't know, work, but also to have it for evenings out, etc. So I did want to show you guys how we're gonna style it. This dress, by the way, is by Michael Kors, and I think I got it last week, so um, I really like it. But what I love the most about it is that it's a great dress. It's, it feels really great, but it's not like extremely expensive, so it's like quality, but for the appropriate price tag, which I thought was really great and wanted to show it to you. For full transparency, I have worked with Michael Kors uh, in the past before. I, they've been my partner for a while now, so just wanted you guys to know that. Is someone knocking on my door? This morning we're gonna head to the Michael store boutique on Rue Saint-Honoré. I will bring you guys with me, we're just gonna walk together there and then as well I want to do some home shopping because usually I have uh, so many things that I need. I never even realize how many things you need for home when you just move in. Um, what are the most common things that you guys forgot? The first thing that I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that you need towels. That was the first thing that I bought. But now I need so many other things, including a full length mirror that I'm thinking of even bringing you to a vintage fair uh, for furniture in this video. I'm just leaving the house and I really, really love this keychain. Every time I grab my key and I see this keychain, it makes me so happy. Who remembers when I got this for my birthday? Yeah, this present was completely unexpected. Very hot in Paris this week. By the way, I'm loving this face mask, the silk one. It just feels so good. I still sometimes have to wear the surgical ones because they're saying that these masks are not as protective as the surgical ones, but this one really sits on my face. I don't know if you can tell, but it really sits on my face, so I like it. I realized I haven't really shown you what I style the dress with, which I will show you as soon as we get there, but it's a casual vibe today so later on i will show you as well how to make it more dressy how to make it more casual a midi dress you know i think that would be quite interesting to see in my flat boots i think chunky boots are as last season the biggest trend of fall we're arriving this morning i'm really feeling these autumnal colors so i might even like kind of try and style different looks in the boutique let's see what they have guys we made it you can see me in the reflection and actually the reflection is quite strong but here you can see my dress styled with a bag and the flat boots so I styled it as well and also with a denim jacket as for the purpose of the video I removed the mask but guys so this is my look this burgundy dress I love specifically because I mean you have seen the Bella campaign I will insert the picture if you haven't and I think it looks so amazing on her as well but I've styled it just simple with like a casual black bag, a belt, biker boots. I actually also have a pair of Michael Kors biker boots, which are these. And I'm sure you guys have seen me wear them before several times. So like this dress that I'm wearing, I would definitely choose them. Or maybe those high heels, which I also think are pretty fabulous. That's the plan. really love this print specifically this dress because this one I suppose you can also wear off the shoulders with those classic um, sleeves I love them from my Britney Spears era but uh, by far this dress is my favorite so let's try and style some autumn outfits actually around this dress because 
it's definitely my favorite. Just spotted a few pairs of sunglasses, so you guys have to let me know which ones are your favorite. I love these ones. I don't know if the white sunglasses suit me. I think these are so fabulous and I would love them to suit me, but you guys let me know what you think. I love this. This is like a classic style of sunglasses, but for me it's usually the one that I always go for. Now, let's try and style my favorite dress in a few different autumnal vibes. What should we do? We can do like a, we can do more like a worky, we can do more casual, and we can do an evening. Let's try and do that. I really like this dress here. Over here, I don't want to show you from the front because I want you to see it, what it looks like on me. Or maybe I should really. It's not, it's not really nice of me, is it? This is the dress, very, I think, uh, Michael Kors vibes. It's kind of three quarter sleeves, but you can lift, like, you can pull it down because it has elastic here. It's short, it looks very, that it will be flattering. So I'm very excited, because I was thinking between that one and this one, but let's try the last one. I think it could be very, very cool. Okay, don't judge me. This is a little bit off topic, but I really love this chair and I would like to have it for my apartment. It's in the changing room. I think it's so beautiful. This could be a really nice work chair so you can curl up in it, right? Okay, I think this is so adorable. It's very flattering because this dress has like a kind of elastic here, so it really hugs you, but you still have space to eat if you're going for a big dinner. However, let's show you how versatile this is. I've started the dress with the little heels, though honestly it goes really great with the boots as well. But if you add the biker jacket, I think this jacket always adds the coolness. This jacket is my favorite piece, and if I can get one piece, I would definitely get this jacket. It's my favorite favorite from everything that you have seen. I think it's so cool. Also, in case you're wondering, because I get that question a lot, I am approximately size small. Like, I think the coat is extra small, but the dress is small, so. I love that the coat kind of makes it very smart. And for example, I would wear this dress with over the knee boots. Imagine the kind of like a suede beige over the knees and this dress and the chunk in it, also in kind of caramel color. That would be very nice. I have so many in my wardrobe, like that kind of style. In fact, I have like a pair of very high caramel boots that will go very well with this dress. Changing Room Chronicles. Now, I took a few pieces to show you how I would bring this for different occasions, like um, evening, kind of more casual, and the business. I think you can definitely wear this dress many different ways and everybody has a simple black belt i think if you put a black belt on it just makes it completely different or even a burgundy even a white actually because there's a bit of white on here so this is going to be our casual look let me see close the booty i think the leather jacket makes it so cool i don't know what you guys think and um, even with the belt you can make a dress a little bit shorter if you tuck it in with the belt so that you can have like a multi-purpose dress depending on how cool you want to look on the day. So this is the look number one. So now we have something more um, evening here. I decided to go for a peep toe kind of sandal. Love the heel. I think the heel is like pretty fabulous because it's a different perspective. Just a belt to make it more um, cinched in the waist because I think that's something that always, always makes every look more feminine. So if you want to make something more casual, you don't have to wear it with a belt. If you want to make it more evening, I think belting it in adds like another dimension. And now, for the evening, we can do something like this. And the best part about this is if you want to make it a bit cooler, you can even use your own belt to put it over the jacket. Even though this jacket, in particular, it comes with a belt already. But I think that can be changed, of course. This is the beauty of the pieces, that they are so versatile. Like, unbutton a little bit of the top part. Ignore this. There we go. And this is kind of like a more of an evening, evening look. You can also do this with a blazer. So, shall we find maybe a blazer to do this with? I think it could look better. Now we're talking. This is the look that I think is kind of perfect for the evenings. It brings more like a sophisticated vibes and is a completely different from what we just had before. You can wear this for a dinner, you can wear this for an evening. I think something like this could be quite nice as well, even for a first date, because it's not saying I'm trying too hard, it's more saying like I'm very sophisticated and cute and I don't know. 
Okay, and this would be my kind of like office look, to be honest, because I think the dress is so beautiful, it's very smart, but it's charming, it's not, you know, the boring office look that nobody wants. Styling with the booties, which I think are cool, but flat and comfy for you to be holding the office in. And a warm coat, which, by the way, is not too thick, not too thin, just perfect, is a wrap coat. I think wrap coat is always like so beautiful, because it looks smart, so you can really have the most out of a wrap coat even for nights out or for work or for even casual kind of like jeans and a sweater things but I think this would be my ideal office look. Now you have to let me know which one is your favorite. Bella Hadid in the campaign, she has the burgundy one that I love, let me show you. I also love the color of this one and it comes even as a tiny bag as well. I even maybe like the tiny one better because I'm so into that. Bag, and I think this bag would go well with all three looks, unless you really want to go micro when you go out. But this one, light because casual vibe, more of like a city girl vibe, evening vibe. Okay guys, a little break from work and shopping and after this we might head to check out some furniture places and try and find uh, some new pieces from the new home, currently at the cost. I'm thinking between um, Carpaccio and Pasta. Okay, we got four yellow tail. Okay guys, after lunch we just made it to the vintage market. I would like to get as much as I can to be quite unique. Of course some stuff I cannot. I have to get in like uh, places where it's more of a, a mass production but if I can I would like to get like mirrors, some cupboards, some decoration and pieces from the uh, vintage market. So we're searching mostly interested in stuff from some pieces from the 20th but less. So many of you have asked me which vintage market we go to and this one is uh, Saint-Anne. It's Rue de Rosier. Things you can find here really vary from, you know, the little things to furniture to cutlery, mirrors, clothing, books, anything really. Good morning everybody, a little bit different face. I actually just woke up, as you can probably hear from my voice. I have this mask on because my face desperately needs it actually. So I'm using actually two at the moment regularly. I use uh, both from Biologic Research. One is Mask Visolastine, I don't know how to pronounce these things. And the other one is Mask Creme Biofixin. This one is like anti-aging, which is what I'm wearing today. And this one is more like hydrating, yes. Uh, I use them both after the lotion P50W. One thing I don't ever use really is this product here, Let U. It's because um, it's kind of like a cleansing milk. And to be honest, I don't really enjoy using cleansing milks. They also have uh, this uh, protection UV, which is SPF 50, I believe. I have to say that Sisley still remains my favorite SPF 50 because the Biologic one uh, leaves like quite uh, like a white trace. I like the smell, I like the texture, but it leaves like a white trace. Uh, however, my favorites, because you guys asked me, are the lotion P45 or P50, it depends on your skin type. Now, I'm very casual, as you can see, because I'm at home, I need desperately my first coffee. I'm just wearing these uh, Anin Bing denim shorts, and I love, love, love this Michael Kors uh, burgundy knit. This will really be probably one of my favorite knits this autumn. I always have one burgundy knit that I wear over and over uh, again. And this is going to be in my edit as well, like my favorite pics from uh, Michael Kors this fall. But now I think it's time to go and make coffee. Or maybe before coffee, I need to do something else. Much better, right? Okay, now coffee. I need to update you on what happened yesterday when uh, when we went to the flea market. So it was a very successful visit to the flea market yesterday. I have to say that I found my mirror. I need like two more. But I found my mirror. I really liked it. Uh, we negotiated a kind of good deal. That's like a good thing about these markets. It's very hard to find a mirror that's more than two meters tall. Most of the mirrors are around 180 and that's not uh, tall enough for me. I, I want like a really tall mirror. We have found it. We just have to kind of like um, go 
go back because yesterday was such a humid day the pressure was so low that we found it in the first store that we went to and then after when we went to like searching more and more and more we walked really far off so we couldn't return back so yeah i hope i go back and it's still there i'm pretty positive i really liked as well the shop where um we found it it's a vintage mirror which is like for me a priority the only thing with the vintage mirrors is that obviously they have like little stains and little dots and they look like they have kind of two layers which makes them when you take like mirror selfies or vlogging in the mirror look um like they're dirty but they're not and i will show you exactly what i mean i just need to make the coffee and i need to boil the kettle which is gonna make noise I need to get actually quite a few things for the like a few more mirrors. I need one for my wardrobe room, which is kind of coming together actually really nicely. I don't know if you would have already seen it. Currently, it's still a work in progress. There's still a few more things that I need to do. I just need to understand where I'm gonna buy the things that I need to buy. So, by the way, understanding where I put what. And our plates from Posidana still have not arrived um, thank you so much for all the recommendations in one of my recent videos well you guys have given me so many recommendations on where to buy stuff from home in paris it's really helpful because honestly i'm still kind of i know where to buy the clothes and shoes and all of that stuff but not so great when it comes to the home stuff is this gonna fit i didn't even to buy like duvets like you know the winter ones currently in paris is quite warm so i didn't think about any of that now it's the first coffee of the daytime okay so i wanted to show you what i meant by the vintage mirror is kind of looking uh dirty ish i don't know if it's gonna focus uh maybe not but you can see there's like a stain there and actually if you look at my clothing so it looks like the mirror is dirty, but it's not. It's not dirt, it's just um, it's very difficult to show details on the mirror. And of course, right now when I wanted to vlog, someone is drilling, but it's just the type of mirror. We have like a massive um, mirror as well in, in the living room, and it's the same type of mirror. So I don't know if you can tell, but if you focus, you see, if you focus on the sweater, there we go. It's. It was just one second that it was focusing on the little things, but they're not stains, like I said, just a vintage mirror. So over there, I really don't have to do much, but obviously I'm changing this couch completely. I don't really like it, how it goes with my aesthetics and what I want to have. So that has to take place soon. And as soon as it's done, I'm going to show you like a tour as soon as the room is done. At the moment, you will see that I'm very much trying to find the right inspiration. I got this catalog recently, so I was just trying to find some stuff that I need. I also want to buy the beddings that really uh, work for both of the rooms and that are beautiful. I'm trying to understand which color of the sofa to get, but of course you guys know that I got to the, the great throw. I think that kind of like uh, off whitish grayish tones will go really well because what I really like about the walls is that the ceiling is white and the walls are kind of beige off white. So that's really beautiful and that's something that I really love. Obviously, we got the marble table, so I want this to also be white. And of course, I love the Barcelona chair being as it is. This is like probably my favorite place in the house okay looking a little bit better because i've done a tiny bit of makeup i don't know if you can tell probably not but i promise the makeup is somewhere here i love the glow that the products that i'm using are giving me i also wanted to tell you okay so besides the sofa that i'm really really dying to change i thought that the wardrobe is the most important thing and that i need to work on wardrobe first because i cannot live out of boxes and out of suitcases i need to be able to plan outfits I need to be able to put together things so for me that's something very important I really cannot wait to set up a little working station i'm the sort of person that really really needs to have what would you call it like a little office like a little space where um, i sit i have my agenda my computer and i know that when i sit there i'm actually working i don't like working from bed i don't like working from whatever so for me having a little desk is the most important thing and knowing that that's my working table in the meanwhile i'm using this as a little working station because um it actually fits also 
nice amount of people and um, yeah when I have like more people over because we're like working as a team then it's quite useful to have this table because it's not really like a room with anything else it's quite nice to have it as a um, space to work besides that talking about the team uh, I've remained my team as it was but kind of in Paris I need more help and I actually received so many CVs from you guys so I wanted to say thank you so much for actually sending the CVs and um, sending the applications. We have actually um, already kind of founded a little team here in Paris, which is working pretty well together. So, so far so good, but I will inform you if anything changes. I still have so many things to settle in Paris as a life. The work is too busy that I just don't know how I'm gonna manage everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if the street is loud. Just here is the kind of like main shopping area so it gets sometimes loud in this room. I'm gonna go back to the emails and the coffee and just kind of try and work here even though it's not a proper working station. Does anyone else have this when you need like to have a working station? Because for me it's very very important. Good morning everybody. A new day because I realized I haven't actually properly finished this vlog yesterday. I am honestly like so stuck behind the computer managing stuff for Paris Fashion Week because there's so so much to do and I've never actually experienced in these like 10 years of doing fashion weeks or I don't know how many but like something around that I have never experienced fashion week and settling into a new home at the same time it's happening right now all at the same time I have to say we have made quite a significant progress lately on uh, buying things for home, on managing stuff, on doing little bits and bobs, and I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy that we found a mirror, which by the way, we still have not brought home, but the mirror is going to go on this wall. This will be moved and I want to have like a really, really big mirror here. These ceilings are like four meter tall. They're like very, very high. So I think like something around here would be like a two meter tall mirror place. And I'm very excited for that. I'm still in my um, homey attire. And I still have to actually also show you the progress of my wardrobe, which is going very, very well. But I don't want to reveal everything yet because I have done a little video where I show you step by step of everything which hopefully should be either the next vlog or the one after i don't know when it's going to be like paris fashion week and when it's going to be the wardrobe but um things are kind of slowly coming together the couch is next as i've told you already made like uh first moves for the couch so at least things are happening and that makes me very very happy let's get to the wardrobe i'm not going to show you the whole of this room because this is going to be my wardrobe room and i don't want to reveal everything yet because there is going to be a whole video about it but i wanted to show you um kind of my fashion week setup it's not unpacked yet still living in a lot of bags around here here are some of my favorites that i want to be um wearing during the uh, fashion week I actually really really love I guess you could call this a tote and I really really love it I think this would be a really fun one to wear around fashion week I got so many questions on my edit that I've done for my course even before when I wore the kind of like a college gypsy style dress the burgundy one I got so many questions about that dress then so many questions about this bag in a bucket version I will leave a link below for you to check my edit where I have selected my favorite pieces I style them together I shot them a put outfits for you guys so hopefully you get inspired to see some of the things like a little special tip for you guys watching this now i wanted to say if you choose to buy something uh from there i really want to show my three absolute favorites because i i think these items are insanely beautiful and here they are so we have the dress that i've already worn i think i already worn like more than three times this dress i love it also my boyfriend loves when i wear this one this is quite uh, his vibe like very gypsy cute fun light i really like it with boots with cowboy boots anything soho bag i think this is amazing for every day it also has this little tiny one here which you can detach if you want and carry alone or together but you can put your cards in there or not i think this is beautiful also comes in burgundy and in like a kind of olive green color and as a look together with this leather jacket i've actually really needed something like this 
it's sort of a biker jacket and I do have few leather jackets but this one is very nice because it's longer it's a bit boxy but not too boxy so it's like a perfect add of masculine vibe to this dress for me and that's what I liked wearing together that is uh, my little tip for kind of you know like my absolute absolute favorite pieces i really love them i think they're amazing which is why i decided to include them in my uh by tamara edit so now i have to leave you because i have to get ready for a long day of things in paris fashion week i also forgot to mention one more thing i'm getting a lot of questions about this lip product right now that i'm wearing and it is by code 8 this is what it looks like here we go it just says code 8 it, i think this is like a lip balm it says uh, a.m. p.m. at the bar, like at the bear kind of thing. I don't know if you can see, I really like this product. I think it's a really beautiful kind of nude. If you put a little bit of a lip liner, then it really adds a beautiful definition. So yeah, I really, really like it. It's my everyday and it's going to be my everyday for Paris Fashion Week which starts now so thank you so much for watching this video let me know what looks were your favorites also for my edit i'm super curious to hear thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon bye guys